So I don't think it's a big secret in the magic community that magicians love f***ing sandwich tricks. Almost to the point where it's gotten a little bit sexual. Unsexual! So today I'm gonna add to that massive cesspool of magician sandwich tricks by showing you my variation on the very same trick. So for this one, we're gonna use this deck and uh, pretty much you guys know the deal. We're gonna use two jokers. At this point, I like to have my participants examine the jokers, make sure there's nothing weird about them and they go right back on top of the card box. So for this, we're also gonna need a freely selected playing card. In this case, is gonna be the Ace of Diamonds. This card goes, of course, into the middle of the deck and a magical pass is made over and under the deck and a card seems to jump magically between the jokers. It definitely can't be your card because it's been on the box the entire time. Wrong! It is the Ace of Diamonds. So I repeat the trick one more time, putting the Ace of Diamonds in the middle of the deck, showing both jokers and what? That card jumps magically between the jokers again. This time more visual. Holy shit. If that doesn't get him wet, nothing will. So for this trick, of course, you're going to need the two jokers. You produce them however it is that you like. In the interest of transparency, I want you to see that I actually f this up three times before I actually got a good take. So f the fancy sh Just take them out of the deck. So while they are examining the two jokers, I get a pinky break under the top card. And I take one of the jokers and put it on the deck while I ask them for the other joker. This, of course, sneaks a card between both jokers, which you're going to need for the trick. Now, uh, this gets squared up and put right back on the card box. That's my preferred method of loading a card between the two jokers. But there's also the standard method of having a three card break, lifting up all the cards, peeling off the card with your left hand. And that way you have the card snuck between the joker. Again, I like using my method because I'm better. So all pretty much you need to do is sneak a card between the jokers and put it on the card box. After this, you offer the cards for a spectator to pick one. In this case, we'll use the Nine of Hearts. This card gets control to the top via your favorite method of whatever Shin Lim pass he came out with this week. In the interest of simplicity, I like to either use a couple of different controls. Uh, most of the time, I'll just do a double undercut straight to the top. That usually works well. Another method I like to use is a control from Tom Mullica, RIP my nigga. So for this, we're going to have a pinky break the same way right above the card. For this example, I'll use the uh, nine of hearts. So for this one, you are going to lift up all the cards above that break and do an overhand shuffle underneath that top packet. So what that does is that that puts the nine of hearts on top of the deck. Now at this point, I just press and hold on that nine of hearts with these fingers and overhand shuffle the deck so that nine of hearts stays on top. So one more time with the three of hearts, you get a break, you lift up, you shuffle, and then you squeeze the deck to make sure that that card stays right on top. At this point, you're gonna make whatever magical gesture over the deck, snap your finger, I don't know, do some insertion joke, whatever, but you're gonna show that there's a card that magically landed between the two jokers. As you're showing this, you're gonna get a break with your left hand uh, below the card that they picked. Now you're gonna need a reason to put the cards on the left hand to establish the break. So I like to point at the box and say, what, the box has been there the entire fucking time, no way. This gives a reason to put the cards on the left hand so you can actually pick up all four cards as three cards. So what you're gonna do now is a very sneaky switch to switch out pretty much that ace of diamonds for that three of hearts. You're gonna hold the cards in your right hand and peel the top card. You're gonna revolve your right hand showing the three of hearts which is not really the next card, but it seems like it. It's a very discrepant move. They're stupid, so they'll never figure that shit out. So, you show that three of hearts, you're gonna turn your hand back down and peel that top card into your left hand. That's now the ace of diamonds, but they assume it is the three of hearts. So you're gonna put that card right back there. I'll show you guys a switch one more time because I know it could be a little bit confusing. So, remember you have a pinky break, you pick up the pile and you say, what? Card magically landed between it. Wow, the box has been there the entire time. As you do that, you're going to lift off that packet, do the little switch move that we talked about earlier. Again, uh, peel off the indifferent card they think is their card and keep everything relatively square. Remember, you're hiding their card under the joker. So you're going to offer to repeat the trick one more time, maintaining the pinky break. You put this indifferent card in the middle. And here you're going to do a little pop-up move that I've seen done before. I don't know who to credit for this move, but uh, f*** them. So for this, you're going to hold the cards in your right hand and you are going to use your middle finger to push out that bottom card. Now you can do this hard enough that the card actually propels 
out from underneath that bottom card, but you're only going to do it just enough to pop up the card from underneath that joker. So what you're going to be doing with your left hand is you're going to be pressing their selected card into the deck with your left forefinger, and you're also going to use your pinky underneath the deck to make sure that nothing pops up while you do that. So their card is in the middle, your pinky is down there, and you are going to use your right hand one more time and the middle finger underneath to pop that card into view as you square the deck in the left hand and it looks pretty much like that card in the middle jumped through the deck and landed on top of the joker so we'll repeat the sequence one more time you show that card you offer to repeat the trick by putting that card in the middle remember to put your pinky underneath the deck to keep everything square and you do both moves simultaneously looking like the card went through the deck and appear between both jokers a couple pointers on that pop-up move you are using that very thick middle finger that very very thick middle finger to uh, just pop the card underneath enough so that it shows and extends halfway past the joker if you do it too hard the card's going to shoot out too hard and you don't want that so you want to do it enough so the card just extends and looks like it just popped between the jokers so when you combine this by squaring that card in, it looks like it goes through the deck and definitely gets all the ladies wet hope you enjoyed that trick i'm gonna go and drink my burger king coffee that i got with the bag and hopefully not get diarrhea when i see you again 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 Oh, <laughs>